Hello guys, today we're gonna do a quick preview and unboxing of the Sapphire Radeon uh, X RX 480 of the 4 gigabyte version. These are a really interesting version because you can get these for really cheap. So we're gonna see what this graphics card has inside, and uh, we'll also post uh, the 3D Mark results for this graphics card. Uh, later on in the future we will post a full uh, review of this card in our channel alongside some video games. So if you want to know any specific video game details about this card, just post them in the comment section down below and we'll try to run a test on them. So uh, we're going to do now the unboxing of this card and as we see this is the Radeon RX 480 4GB version, the Nitro the Nitro X version, the Nitro Plus version from Sapphire. Uh, I picked this version because I think it, it offers the best pipes performance, at least in Portugal right now. It cost me about 250 euro and I think it should be the best uh, FPS per euro that you can get right now. Uh, it would be a close tie between this and uh, the GTX 1060, but since this is more capable for DX12, which means more future proof, I decided to go with this. But I also went only with the 4GB version because the 8GB version is 200 and uh, 20 euros so I don't think that it is, the price performance is that good and I'll probably replace this when once Vega comes out if it's if they come out being good graphics cards so uh, now we're gonna see that we have some some details nothing too fancy here we have some uh, free sync and that kind of stuff on, on the back of the card but we will just open it up and see what's inside As always with the box from Sapphire, the the outside is just made out of a really thin, really thin uh, paper, and the inside is made out of a thicker one. You see here that is recyclable. So you open it up, I guess, from the sides. You open it up here on the top and then here you have the, the foam that's co that protects the graphics card during the trip. Uh, here we have a driver disc but as always just go get the later, latest one from AMD. We have a quick installation guide, a registration product from Sapphire and what we really want to see, the graphics card itself. So, as you can see, the rest of the box is empty. So we're just gonna open it up here. It comes in, in this really nice bubble plastic. So we're gonna take it off. And we, here we see the cooler, which is really interesting. We have these two, I think, maybe... 80 millimeter fans, I'm not sure, or 100, 120, and this shroud. So, on the top, we see that we have the better power circuitry because we have the five. We have the eight pin power connector. We also have a back plate on the, on the back side, which is really, really interesting, and it looks really good. And we have an LED mode switch, so we can press it here, and uh, the LEDs will be different. On the back side, we have, regarding I.O., we have a DVD, a DVI port out, which is really, really good for those of you with older 120Hz monitors. HDMI outs, HDMI outs, I think, these ones, mini HDMIs, and... This one are display ports. So now that we have seen the graphics card in itself, we're just gonna run a quick 3D mark test so you guys can see what's the result. So first we're gonna talk about the stock clocks of the 4 gigabyte version of the RX 480. The GPU clock of that version is clocked at uh, 1266 megahertz compared to the 1306 megahertz of this Nitro Plus version and the memory is clocked at 1750 megahertz which is the same as this version from Sapphire which means we just have a, a small boost 
of 50 megahertz on the GPU clock. So let's see what that means in terms of benchmarks. First thing we're going to talk about is the DirectX 11 benchmark, which is the 3D Mark Firestrike. As we can see, let's just focus first on the graphics score, even though all these scores were made with a i5 3570K clocked at 4.5 gigahertz, we need to watch the graphics score. The RX 480 4GB version scores uh, about 1000 less than the, GT9, the GTX 980 Strix that we have previously reviewed in our website, which is uh, about what we expected because the drivers for the RX 480 are still new and the GT9, GTX 980 was almost a top of the line product and it's still uh, more expensive than this uh, graphics card in all the stores. We can see that we have a moderate improvement on the R R9 290X because we have a bit more of GPU score. Once again, this new architecture will probably improve with drivers and there's not much to say in here because we, what we would like to have is a GTX 1060 to compare, but unfortunately we don't have access to it yet. So let's move on to the DirectX 12 benchmark, which is Time Spy. Since I didn't have any other graphics card to compare with, I just made a print of the website result, and as you can see, we have a score of about 4000 in this Time Spy benchmark, which ma makes the RX 480 sit about the GTA X 970 level and a little bit less than the, um, and it should be about the same than the 1060 6 gig gigabyte version. So this is a good score, but like I said before, time will only improve these drivers because AMD cards usually mature with age. So if you want to see a specific part of it, a uh, game reviewed uh, on this card, just let us know. We'll try to get the game and the benchmarks to you. And I forgot to mention that this Sapphire version has a dual BIOS, which means you can flash BIOSes all you want, which is all the rage with the RX line right now, because you have no worries about corrupting the BIOS because you can always flip the switch and you, you will always have a backup BIOS. So as always, share this video with your friends, leave a comment below, and we will see you on the next video.